GPU prices have been going up a crazy amount. Last week, I picked up from Newegg this RTX 3070 for $800, and that's MSRP. I'm gonna tell you why prices are set to go up even more. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Remember to smash that like button. Some say every time you hit that like button, the MSRP of a GPU goes down by as much as a possible penny. All right, so let's talk about this first. This is an RTX 3070, and it is a little bit more of a fancier version. This is the MSI Supreme, which is gonna be one of the more expensive GPUs. Now, last week, Newegg restocked, as they do occasionally with various GPUs, and this one actually was the only one that I was able to get there were a couple that were a little cheaper from other companies but this one came in at 799 dollars and that's going to be msrp now of course newegg often has third-party sellers who often inflate the price of these gpus but this one believe it or not is already 799 dollars which is very ridiculous which is insanely high if you consider just a few months ago sort of the base 3070 the founders edition has an msrp of 499 dollars and yes we're going to talk about this GPU a little bit. It is sort of a premium 3070. It certainly performs well, looks great, but it's certainly not worth a $300 markup over the original 499. But unfortunately, that's the situation that we see ourselves in now. And of course, even though this is one of the more expensive 3070s, it has not kept pretty much every other third party RTX 3070 from reaching much, much higher than they're originally supposed to be. A lot of these high end 3070s are in the six and and $700 range already. A lot are actually close to this, some of the very high-end 3070s. Even the cheaper ones have crept up in price a considerable amount, and basically the only one you can actually still get for a $499 MSRP will be that 3070 Founders Edition, but as we know, these have been much harder to come by. You have to get lucky and catch a drop at one of the very few places that are actually selling the Founders Edition. The most prominent one in the United States is going to be Best Buy, and of course, as we know, World wide founder edition gpus have been much much harder to get even some of the newer gpus like the 3060 ti and the 3070 along with the upper gpus like the 3080 they've been very difficult to get overseas and the same thing almost holds true for the us as well even though they do come in stock occasionally best buy recently had a drop where they did have a bunch of founder edition gpus but that's really pretty much it but for the most part you're going to be overpaying for these rtx 3070s especially if you get one of these models like the MSI Supreme or the Asus Strix, these are going to be considerably more expensive than they really ought to be. So let's summarize quickly why these prices have gone up. Well, right at the beginning of the year, the exemption on tariffs on GPUs expired. That means that right away we saw some companies, the first one was Asus that confirmed the increases coming to not only motherboards and GPUs, but a lot of other components will be affected as well. So this change actually came on very quickly. Basically at the beginning of the week, these changes were announced that they were happening. And at first I think most people thought it may take a few months for these higher MSR to really come into play, but they started happening almost right away. By the end of the week, we were already seeing much higher MSRP GPUs, especially from the third-party AIB companies. Like I said, the NVIDIA Founders Editions have stayed at their MSRPs, but they're very difficult to find, and most of the GPUs you're going to find out there in the wild will be a third-party GPU from like MSI or Asus or EVGA, so those have pretty much all gone up across the board. And of course, the tariffs really aren't the only reason. Of of course, the massive amount of demand these companies are selling these GPUs no matter the price and even a $800 MSI 3070. I mean, this was out of stock on Newegg within a few seconds, so I wasn't the only one that got one. A lot of people went after it as well. That shows you that even with these higher MSRP prices, the GPUs are sold out across the board. So that's a major reason as well why these companies said, you know, let's raise the prices. The tariffs will help sort of explain that, but it's going to be many, many reasons. And of course, not to mention that cryptocurrency mining continues to be at really a historic boom. It's going up a massive amount and that's causing a lot of people to buy multiple GPUs for mining rigs and things like that. And that's also causing many people to buy multiple GPUs that want to have mining farms and things like that. These are just going to be the three major reasons. If any of these three happened in any other years, we would see GPUs sort of sold out and GPUs at higher MSRPs anyway. For example, a few years ago during that first cryptocurrency mining boom, we saw GPUs 
sell out across the board and there were no other issues in the world with manufacturing or anything like that. They just simply had a massive demand so prices went up, availability went down. That's why the 20 series GPUs cost considerably more than the 10 series GPUs that came right before it. Because of the huge mining demand it definitely brought everything up and now we're seeing the same thing together with the exemption expiring on the tariffs, together with everybody being home and gaming and the demand already being high anyway even if it wasn't for cryptocurrency mining. So this creates sort of a really really intense situation that these GPUs definitely are not going to be readily available in stock or at any reasonable pricing for the foreseeable future. I would say at least most of this year we're definitely going to be dealing with these issues. So let's talk quickly about this particular GPU. What makes an $800 3070 be worth it? Well first of all it's the one that's going to be a little easier to get than sort of a cheaper 3070 just because it may stay in stock maybe four or five seconds longer than something that let's say I don't know it's $699 or something like that. People will definitely go for the cheaper GPUs first even with the Founders Edition being $499. A GPU like this is always going to command a premium. Of course just not as much as a $300 premium. That's $100 more than a 3080 MSRP should be but of course as we know by now 3080s are even more expensive with some being well over a thousand dollars already in terms of their MSRP. So here we're seeing a situation where pretty much everything went up across the board. Now due to its price being a little bit higher than average for a 3070 it is slightly easier to get perhaps this particular GPU even though it is a very high-end and niche model. I think a lot of times when people see the price and I did as well you sort of are taken aback a little bit and you have to think is it really worth this price? But when you look at everything else instantly selling out in the market and this one just happened to be the one that I was lucky enough to find in stock even if it was like for 10 or 20 seconds. If I had seen a cheaper GPU like maybe one of the Asus ones I probably would have gone for that if I had the choice but pretty much 3070 sell out instantly so you could even say I was lucky to overpay for a GPU like this but aside from that it is actually a very high quality GPU but aside from the price definitely being too high by at least a hundred and hundred and fifty dollars on a GPU like this certainly it is one of the best quality 3070s that you're going to be able to get your hands on. Everything on it feels absolutely really really high end. Build quality is amazing. I love the RGB implementation in this GPU and yes it is an absolutely massive GPU but I decided to put this GPU to the test in a fairly small case. That's going to be the very popular Cooler Master NR200P. A lot of people have done mini ITX builds in this case. A lot of people have fit 3090s and various GPUs of various sizes and even though this is a massive GPU I just barely got it to fit but really at the end of the day $799 is really a ridiculous price to pay for just a 3070. I mean when the 3070 came out this is the price that scalpers were selling sort of the initial 3070 batch of GPUs for. They were going for like seven to eight hundred dollars and that's a price that most people didn't like. They kind of balked that just because the 3080 should be seven hundred dollars so why would they pay more? But now that everything has gone up it looks like this MSRP GPU is even more than the previous scalper prices were for the initial batch of RTX 3070s. So if you thought these prices now are high, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, prices are set to go up even higher and the reason will be an increase in the VRAM pricing, things like GDDR6X which are found in the 3080 and the 3090 and of course the upcoming 3080 Ti which is going to be a sort of shaved down 3090. It should have about maybe 20 gigabytes of VRAM. You can expect that price to also be considerably expensive. I think within the next few months we're going to see all these GPUs creep up even higher with their MSRP. So if you think the prices are high now because of the massive amount of demand like we mentioned before from not only gamers being at home but from the cryptocurrency mining boom we're seeing VRAM really be in very limited supply. It's one of the biggest bottlenecks to producing these GPUs right now and you're going to see these prices go up and up and up. The and you're going to see these prices start to go up considerably more. I mean that's pretty much what we're being warned about now that the prices are going up and anytime they start talking like that you know that within a few weeks a few months we certainly will see even higher MSRP prices than we do now and that's really unfortunate because just a few months ago when these GPUs were announced everybody was pretty happy with their MSRPs. I mean look at the 499 3070 the 699 3080. People were really happy with the price to performance propositions that 
that these GPUs presented. I think it certainly came as a bit of a shock that the beginning of this month when the MSRP prices went up a crazy amount. I still kind of regret it a little bit, even though it is a pretty cool GPU. I still feel a little bit of remorse paying so much by a 3070, but then I look at the market and the situation. I mean, it's hard to get a 3070 as it is. You may not be lucky enough to be able to choose which one that you want. So this one was the one that sort of came in and unfortunately it just happened to be one of the more expensive ones. But I do think that if you do need a GPU, I would keep your eye open right now and get whatever one that fits your budget and fits sort of what your plans are for your gaming PC. Because if you wait in the future, first, availability is going to be tight, I think, for most of the year. I don't really see it getting any better for the next few months. And second, like I mentioned, these MSRP prices are likely to go up even higher and definitely not down. But just remember, it's really not an optimal price to be paying. And you're just going to have to live with the fact that prices now are just much more expensive than they should be. All right, guys, so let me know down below what GPU you've gotten recently and at what price, or if you're still having trouble finding a GPU. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.